Hello once again, this is Antonio, and I'm coming at you with another exciting video. Now, let's set the stage. I know a lot of times you see people running to the stores or doing these snatch and grabs, and in the back of your mind, you'd be like, how do these people get off and sell these things? Well, they have people that purchases those items straight off of the individual, and what they do, they take those items and they place them on platforms like eBay, Facebook Marketplace, Amazon, or flea markets possibly, right? And that's exactly what happened to this queen pen. She ran a extensive theft ring of men and women worth $8 million. Oh, you don't believe me? Well, not only that, her husband was in on the act. They did this. For more than 10 years. Let me go on and share my screen. Let's go ahead and dive into this. So you can understand exactly what I'm referencing. Okay. Alright. So the glamorous millionaire queen pen. 53 is accused of running. Crime reign of 12 women. Called California girls. Who stole 8 million dollars. In cosmetics. And designer clothes. Storing them in a 4,000. 500 square foot mansion and selling them on Amazon. So in the so in the glamorous light, right? The California girls were the face of the operation, but the queen pen was the controller of the operation. Do you know how large a 4500 4, square foot mansion is? That is huge. That is huge. That is a large home. Right? And we're going to dive into it. A wealthy California mom is accused of masterminding a nationwide shoplifting, shoplifting organization that stole millions of dollars worth of makeup and clothes from hundreds of stores for more than a decade. Do you know how things are so bad? I'm going to do a video on this. Let me show you real quick. Let me, let, me, let me show you this. Let me show you something real quick. Let me show you something real quick. I'm going to get into it. The Dollar Tree is preparing to close 1,000 stores. 1,000 stores. So the Dollar Tree and Family Dollar are going to close 1,000 stores. Why? Because people are stealing. They're stealing. Let's play this real quick. Let's play this real quick. The future is not just going to happen. You have to make it. And if you want a successful business, all it takes Discount chains, Family Dollar and Dollar Tree are closing more than a thousand stores across the country. The stores have been plagued for years by health and safety concerns. This year alone, Dollar Tree, which owns Family Dollar, was hit with a record $41.5 million fine for violating product safety standards. Horrifying conditions in a rat-infested warehouse came to light where food items were stored. The Justice Department said the chains still put those compromised items out on the market for sale. There's no word yet on exactly which stores will close. Okay, so let's pause that real quick. One reason why this Dollar Tree and Family Dollar is Dollar is closing is also theft. That's why I brought that up and played that quick snippet. So Michelle Mack, 53, allegedly paid airfares, hotel bills, and car rental costs for up to a dozen operatives. She kept her circle small, and she knew what she was doing. She kept a circle small and she knew what she was doing. Who will post their loot to, to uh who will post their loot to her home and bond saw before she sold it on for knockdown prices through a front company on Amazon Marketplace. Her gang, dubbed the California Girls by investigators, operated in more than a dozen states, coast to coast, targeting outlets including Lens Crafters, Sephora, 
and at least 231 auto stores. Oh, they knew what they were doing, people. Don't get it twisted. Don't feel sorry for them. They were the stickiest thieves you ever want to find in your life. Hmm? All right, so police find a mini store of goods worth $350,000 in a 5 a.m. raid on her $3 million home and fear the total hit to retailers may have topped eight million dollars right so the people who place those orders on her amazon page but may never receive them because they were now confiscated all right if you try to make an easy buck off of other people's hard work we will arrest you and prosecute you that sounds tough talk for a person who has been doing this for 10 years she didn't just start this. You don't rack up $8 million in a year. She's been doing this. You don't buy a $3 million home. She's been doing this. If you try to make an easy buck, tough talk, California Attorney General Rob Bonta said, as charges were filed. So look, look at that smile. That's the face of a criminal. Both of them. So don't think. That smile is a GoFundMe or whatever you want to call. That's the face of a criminal, people. All right, so Michelle Mack, 53, pictured with her husband, Kenneth, was the alleged mastermind of a nationwide shoplifting organization, which netted the couple $8 million over a decade. Like, up upper body she looked nice that bad that's a bad body situation down low anyways look at all the items that they sold strategically placed police described the hall as the mini market after discovering it laid out warehouse style in the 4,500 square foot mansion on bonsaw so what i'm thinking is probably one of these girls um this is just my speculation one of these girls possibly got caught and the government told them, say, hey, you need to rat out the big fish. Are you going to jail for a long time? Are we going to cut you a break or how it went? But I'm that's when I'm speculating what happened. All right. So investigators spent more than two years trying to break the game. See, look, they've been trying to break this game for two years. So they've been telling these ladies and everything which was tasked with clearing entire shelves of goods, which they concealed in Louis Vuitton bags. The conspiracy stated to unravel. When two shoplifters, see, they, there you go. They were arrested and they gave up the big fish. Right? When arrested in an altar store on the East Coast and one of them told the police, that she was working for a woman in California. They go to snitch. She snitch. And Miss Mac probably knew she snitch. She probably knew that this was going to happen. Or what she what they probably did is arrested her, let her go, and told her, Don't say anything. We coming after the big fish. So you just you see enough movies to see what they would actually do who provided her with a list of stores to target and the prices she would pay for stolen items. A search of her phone revealed dozens of messages from a woman later identified as Mac. Investigators then found that Mac ran a retail outlet on Amazon called Online Makeup Store, which offered more than 300 items on its product line. The items listed for sale were nearly 50% off the actual retail price, which was included in the sales listing. A search warrant application explained. This steep discount suggested that the items were being fenced. So, like I said again, what they probably did was they probably went and arrested that person, let them go, or told them you can't say anything, and that's how this probably came to, came to fruition. 
Amazon provided investigators with records showing that the outlet had racked up sales worth $8 million since 2012. So I say they was doing it for 10 years. Hell no, nah, they've been doing this for 12 years. Included nearly $2 million in 2022 alone. They were at it, baby. Mm-mm-mm. Papers filed by the Attorney General's office note that the manner in, that the manner in which defendants carried out the crimes indicates planning, sophistication, or professionalism. And and what I'm saying is, Alina, she a snitch. You stole all these items. In jail, they probably gonna take care of you because now you are labeled a snitch. Snitches get stitches in jail. Alleged gang member, Alina Franco, and your gang member. They're going to deal with you justly when you get to the clinker because you know you're in the gang. You don't post a snitch. Had 67000 worth of stolen beauty products at her home in Carlton San Bernardino, where her home was raided on the same day. She appeared in court on February 27, where she denied multiple felony uh, counts. Look at that beautiful home. That home is immaculate. That home is beautiful. Manicured lawns. Beautifully designed. It's $3 million. Look at the warehouse. All laid out, ready to go. Look at this. Louis, that, 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 that. I don't know what kind I want to speak too soon. Nice bag, whatever it is. I don't want to say Louis Vuitton because I don't know. They also claim that Mac induced others to participate in the, in the commission of the crime or occupied a position of leadership or dominance and other participants in his commission. Oh, they, that boy, they are snitching. They are snitching. I'm not stealing regular. I'm going to stop filling up my bag quick. So I want to know stuff I can grab and box to defendant Gamara Lee good and text Mac on January 7th last year. Days later, Mac texts her husband. Even without uh, Lankum, we still did well before he replied, lots of orders. Let's get shipping. Investigators raided her home in northern San Diego uh, County. On December 6th, before filing 140 charges against Mac, her husband Kenneth, and seven of her alleged gang. On entering the 4,500 square foot mansion, they located and siege hundreds of parcels prepped for shipment that will ultimately mail, uh, be mail, ultimately be ultimately mailed out at local post office. The charges include 136 felony counts of grand theft, two counts of receiving stolen property. One count of conspiracy, one count of organized retail crime. I see that the justice system works slowly, but it seems to be working. One of Mac's neighbors told NBC7. One of the women, Alina Franco, reportedly, well, we already read that. In July last year, Mac text Franco asking, did you get some new girls? I really need new products. So if you can have anything, please let me know. Franco appeared in court on February 27, where she denied multiple felony counts, including conspiracy to commit organized retail crime. The National Retail Federation estimates that retailers lost $40.5 billion to shoplifters in 2020, much to organized gangs. And the California girls were definitely an organized gang. The number of cases brought against organized thefts by Homeland Security investigations more than tripled from 59 to 199 between 2021 and 2022. So land crafter stores in California were among those targeted and more than 230 altars were uh, reportedly fell victim to the gang. So this is going to be a doozy. Nevertheless, this is Antonio Team Tigio. Please like, comment, subscribe as we're going to be coming to you more videos in the future. And once again, we will see you in the next video. You can donate to this channel through Cash App, 
and hit that notification bell because we will be dropping new videos often so we will see you in the next video and thank you for watching and thank you